Hey guys, it's Michaela. So today I'm actually doing a super exciting video. I'm going to show you my sewing studio. As you can see, it's a bit of a situation. This is actually the cleanest it's been in a very long time, so hence why I'm going to show you. Um, I actually have my own business called Leo the Label, which is all handmade clothing and accessories. Um, everything is made in this room here. And I thought it'd be really interesting for you guys to have a look around and see my setup and little tips and tricks that I do. So let's get into it. So as you come in, I have this, uh, I guess you could call it vintage sewing table. That's actually my mum's. Um, there's not much in there, so I'm not going to show you. Uh, here is some of my jewelry making supplies that I just keep handy if I want to do a random project. So you can see there's some tinsel earrings in there, all sorts of charms and bits and bobs, we've got earrings, everything. Uh, so most of my time is actually spent on this side of the room. So we have my computer, which is, <laughs> let's be real, isn't it something? It's so nice. Um, so we have my computer here, and this is where I do all of my social media, my online updates. I'll have my own website, leotherlabel.com. I also have an Etsy store. Um, I think it's great to put yourself out there on as many platforms as you can. Um, I've got my gaming mat because you have to have a multifunctional space, right? Um, up here, I have a mood board, which is getting there. My quote for now better an oops than a what if. Um, so, you know, this is actually my personal one. Um, so there's fitness, there's YouTube, there's money saving, travel, all sorts of bits and bobs. Uh, from Vistaprint, I have just two stamps. Um, so one is my label and one is my details. It's not gonna focus, but you know what I mean. Um, so they're just those press ones, which are really easy. I use them for my um, swing tags. Cool. And I have a bunch of scissors, easily accessible. Do not use your fabric scissors for paper. Do not use somebody else's fabric scissors for paper. It's extremely upsetting. <laughs> um, then here I just have some stationery. So we have pens, pencils, tools. Tools is like uh, hole punch, pattern making, screwdrivers, Stanley knives, um, tailors all, all that jazz. Um, colored things, markers and glue. I've got spare pins and chalk. And uh, now this machine is the one that I use all the time. So this is just my straight stitch. It's an industrial machine, which means it's a little bit different to your standard one. It works like a clutch. So excuse my bare feet. If you put your foot down a little bit, that means it'll run. And this handy little thing it lifts the foot up. So I'll show you. Ready? No hands. Boom. Boom. Which is awesome. Um, so these machines are really amazing if you are doing a little bit more than your home sewing. I know a lot of people actually use their domestic machine, which is awesome because go you. I still have my domestic machine, but I just don't use it as much because this is like a Ferrari. So um, if you want, I can show you how this works um, in a separate video, but now I'm going to keep it short and sweet. So always got my scissors handy, pins. <laughs> You need a magnet because carpet, mm, carpet and pins ain't great. I think I'm the only one who wears bare feet. So um, the other good thing with these industrial machines, you've got tape, tape measure. Um, measurements along here, so as you're showing, sewing, it's a lot easier. Um, I have this light as well, which actually the globe's busted. There is no globe in there. Um, so I use this studio lighting instead. Um, and that can be turned to use on my pattern making table as well, which is really easy and it gives it a lot more light So I realized I should have had that on to show you, but whatever we're learning um, Bobbin cases are the best thing in the world. These I got from eBay. It means that you don't have to unwind a bobbin um, If anyone doesn't know what a bobbin is, it means it's the thread that goes underneath your machine So there's two layers of stitching um, this one that you just store in here super easy and I just keep them by my machine so I can swap it out. Um, I've got a thing for broken needles um, so that you don't stab yourself. Um, that's yuck. Then the bin, bin handy, always gotta have a bin. Um, and then we have my overlocker. Um, this bad boy is also amazing. 
Uh, this is for finishing seams, if anybody doesn't know sewing. Um, yeah, I love it. Um, so it's quite interesting if you actually want to see the inside. These aren't as fun to thread, but cheeky little trick. You can cut these threads off, tie it on, and you just pull it through and hope that they don't break, but you always have to thread the needles. So this is a two needle, and yeah, it's not going to load, but anyway, it's pretty cool. I'm just going to show you these on because I love the sound. Are we ready? Yes. It's so satisfying. And then we're ready to go. Um, I've drawn this line on just when I first sort of started using this machine as it has no guidelines, but I'm really good by eye now, so doesn't matter. Turn that off. And then we have over here, this is just kind of a storage area. There's my um, rotary cutter, which I don't use very often because I often cut small pieces. Um, I don't do a lot of bulk, but it's always good to have. So it's got this blade here, spins, and you can cut multiple layers of fabric. Uh, Manny's stay over here. This is a project I'm working on right now for my big sister. Um, she's looking pretty dang cute. It's linen and it's so soft. I kind of want to keep it. Um, this one's really good because it's adjustable. And then I have this one which I take to um, markets and things which is actually better for my size. I can drape on this one. Over here, I do actually have a really good storage for thread, but it's in my other room attached to the wall, so I haven't taken it off yet. So right now I just shove everything in here. Um, these are my good rolls of thread. You can get really crappy thread, I would not recommend. Um, more thread, and then labels. I got these off someone on Etsy um, when I first started. It was a 500 minimum order. I've actually used quite a lot, so I would recommend um, don't skimp out on the labels because I think they're really important in finishing your product. So then I have small size tags, um, 14, 12, bloody bloody blah, blah, and then the tags that haven't been sewn on yet. So I just keep everything in the one spot. And my ironing board is nothing fancy. My iron is nothing fancy. This one has done me extremely well. Uh, yeah, so I just got the power board over there, plug it in. It's nice out of the way. I've got the whole use of the um, board. Of course, you have to have a handy little mirror to say hi and check yourself out. Obviously, it's a bit squishy here and ideally I'd like to have it somewhere else, but you know, saying that I do have a very big room, so I don't know what I'm complaining about. <laughs> uh, here is my pattern card. I use this for making patterns. Um, it's extremely heavy and I would like to move it to a better spot where it's easily accessible, but this will do for now. Um, same down here. This is my pattern making paper. It's also very heavy, but having it on the floor means that I can roll it out and chop off a chunk and work from there. Um, this is all my scrap pattern cards, so I reuse this for smaller pattern pieces and also for making my swing tags and my um, jewelry cards. So... This is my pattern rack. This is all the patterns I've done um, for a while. So there's a whole size run in here. For example, this is a nice easy one. This is a boxy tee. Um, so we've got size eight to 14 ready to go. So all my patterns are in here. Um, over here I have some small pieces of fabric. So uh, nothing is on a roll. Saying that there are a few pieces that have quite a lot. Um, my friend and I, she helped me organize this into categories. So we have like sequins, animal print, um, <laughs> miscellaneous, more sequins. And this is a new fabric I bought, which is velvet, but I haven't found a place for it yet. Um, so I keep that in these milk crates, which I think is really funny because I'm vegan. So stuff you milk, um, got a better use for it. <laughs> more fabric up here and um, some vintage patterns as well, which I think are really fun to have because it gives you some great ideas and you can alter them. Um, if you're not too familiar with pattern making, this is a great start. Hit up the op shops, 50 cents a dollar for a piece, which is really good. Uh, miscellaneous trims in here. Um, I've got some books and stuff, which we don't need to go into, because personal. Um, one box of googlies, googly eyes for my googly bags. How funny is that to say? Googly. Uh, and then I've got two boxes of zips, some more trims, cotton tape, rat's tail, um, elastic. Just all sort of in the one place to keep it a little bit easier. And keep my suitcase in here for markets. It's great to load up 
some um, clothing. That looks disgusting. Sorry. Great to load up clothing um, so that you don't have to wheel it in or carry it yourself. Uh, here we have, pardon me, um, my backdrop stand with a backdrop, some fabric backdrop, and then this is some fusing for sewing. I've got spare bags um, for markets. Up here is all of my ready-to-wear clothing. So this is items that I've pre-sewn ready to go for markets or online stock. So there is a lot here. Um, it is sorted at the moment. The right half is what I take to markets. The left half is excess stock. Um, so everything's already hung on its um, respective hangers. I used to always have white, but then when I started doing mesh, um, everything fell off. So there's some fun pieces in here. This, oh, I love this one. Um, they're all ready to go. We've got some good sleeves, sparklies, um, some slip dresses. And these are my swing tags, which I've actually handmade myself. Um, so if you'd like to see that, when I first started, I had no idea and I've just wung it and this is how it works for me. So this is actually a recycled pattern card. Um, watercolor, the stamp I showed you earlier, and then just a the printout. Um, some of them, if you don't have a printer, you can easily hand write. For example, <clears throat> this one's handwritten. And then underneath, I have all my details. So website, Facebook, Instagram, etc. So we've got mesh, pants, whoop, more mesh, oh my gosh. So I've been a busy girl, this is all done by me. Um, down here is my market stuff ready to go. So I just take this bag with me. I have a sign, trolley, other sign. Just keep it in one place so that it's all ready to go. If you'd like to see a video on my markets, stay tuned because I'm gonna do that soon. Uh, down here, is also more market stock. So I've got bags, clamps, um, all sorts of bits and bobs. These are my recent designs. Some Sonnies, I have to show you because they're freaking dope. Aren't they fun? Oh, hi, you can see me. So these actually have just gone up on my website. This is the only pair I have of this particular color. And then we've got blue, um, pink, etc. So it's heaps of fun. I'm gonna pop that on there for now. So I have two chairs in here. Um, this is my office slash gaming chair. It stays here. And this is my sewing chair. Um, so you can just move it around. I keep it to the side so that it's not in the way. And then when I wanna sew, you just flip it. Um, I actually <laughs> really use it for here. I often stand up and sew, which is probably not recommended, but YOLO. So here's my pattern making table. It is a godsend because I don't know how people cut on small things. Uh, so I have a cutting mat here. So that's great if you have a rotary cutter, would highly recommend. Um, we again have the tape and then I also have a one meter ruler. This is actually a ruler from Bunnings. Um, it's real sturdy and I would recommend that because it's a lot cheaper than your pattern making ones. Uh, over here I have a French curve ruler and a grading ruler. So they're also essential if you're doing pattern making. You can wing it by eye but these help you out a lot. So that's the project I'm doing for my sister. This is the skirt and cuff which I need to finish off today. Um, here I just have some handy things. I've got pattern weights. These double as pattern weights too. If you don't want to buy pattern weights, use cups, mugs, whatever. Fill it up with your pencils. It's so much cheaper. Got notes, sketchbook, pins, chalk, more weights. Um, also a set square, which is a really old one, used for drafting from my dad. I just keep it at a 45 degree angle, which is bias. Um, and then here, I keep um, pre-cut items ready to be sewn. So for example, we have a mesh ruffle in black, a mesh ruffle in white, a liquid gold top, um, a fluffy skirt that I haven't done yet. So they are all size eight, so I know when to go. And then size 10, same thing. We've got liquid cowl tops, mesh ruffles, another skirt. It's all the same sort of things because I cut out the same sizes um, as I go to save time. Not much in the 12, but you get the idea. So that means you're not gonna mess up your sizing. 
Um, after I sew them anyway, I normally check to ensure that it still is the right size before putting on the label because no one wants the wrong size. I think that's it. So welcome to my sewing studio. It's pretty big. I'm very lucky. So one more thing with my... Ah! Sorry, I gotta move my chair out of the way. With uh, my setup here, with my computer, I almost always have music on when I'm sewing. So, of course, we have to use Spotify. Um, so I've got the Logitech speakers here. What a cheeky little sub, which is great. Also doubles as a footrest, which is cool. Um, so yeah, I think you definitely need to keep the vibe up and have some music whilst you're working. Also, um, look at my computer. I built this with my boyfriend. You're sitting on my sewing machine, if you can't see from the background. So, um, I hope this was kind of insightful, if not cool, to have a wonder in my wonder in my sewing studio. Um, I'm very lucky to have this space. But yeah, please check out my website. It's leotheLabel.com. I have Insta, I've got Facebook, which I don't use very often. Um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that little tour of my sewing studio. Um, it's given you a little bit of insight. Do not stress, if you are a beginner sewer and you don't have much space, you don't need this much. I'm very blessed to have this area to work in. Um, so you should have seen the rooms that I started in. I didn't even have a room originally, it was in my bedroom. Just started off with a little domestic sewing machine. You don't need anything fancy. Um, so just have confidence and give it a go.